Hello and welcome again to another episode of the Ask Vent Show. On the previous episode, we talked about a two-point load sharing anchor, which you can see we still have here. The problem with that is it, it requires it to be a focus load in a single direction. We're going to expand upon that by just taking a, a, another small runner and forming a loop out of it. And we're going to turn this into a two-point load distributing anchor system. And what this is going to do, it's going to allow it to distribute the load not always equally, but fairly close to equal, to the two separate anchors. And the easiest way to do this is to take this small piece of webbing right here, and we're just going to form a, a figure eight. And once we form this figure eight, we're going to clip one loop into one of the two anchors and lock it. And then the other loop into the second anchor. And we'll lock that one. At this point, we're going to take our third carabiner, and we're going to where the two cross, we're going to catch that and capture it. And what this is going to allow us to do is when we clip our main lowering line, rappel line, whatever we happen to be working with into this, we still got the benefit and the added safety margin of two anchors. But the nice thing about the two-point load distributing anchor is as this load moves back and forth, to the left and right, it travels through here and it never really drops either leg out. The leg that's more in line with the load will share the brunt of the load, but there will still be some load on both anchors at all times. This is really beneficial if we don't have a fixed point that we're going to be going over. If our rescue, our rescue package is going over and it's going to have to move laterally across the edge, this gives us the ability to move without actually dropping either one of the anchors out. 